Hey everybody, Floyd here. I just finished up a beautiful afternoon commute on my Vespa here. It's a 23 Vespa GTS 300, but that's not the subject of this video. This past weekend I attended the Venice Japanese Motorcycle Club's Bike Show at Bike Week. It was held in Dillon, Florida at the Volusia County Fairgrounds. And I spotted a couple of really neat and unusual machines I thought I should share with my viewers here. The first one you'll look at here is a Japanese domestic market VFR 400R, a 91 model. Very nice machine, unusual and rare to see here in the United States. Enjoy the video for a minute, then I'll come back and tell you what the other one is. Got a little information here. This is a really neat old bike to show you. Hard to believe this is a 1991. This is a Japanese domestic market product called the NC30 VFR 400R. Got a single sided swing arm. Everything is basically a condensed version of the RC30, but set up for Japanese tiered licensing laws. This thing is in beautiful condition. Well cared for, well preserved. Got a lot of cool details on it. I would love to have it sitting in my garage, wouldn't you? Check it out here. Yep, all Japanese warning labels. It is amazing. The speedometer is in kilometers. I like this one a lot. Well, I hope you really enjoyed that little VFR. This next treat here is a one owner original unrestored 1965 Honda CB160. According to the owner, it's never worked. He's been worked on. He's never even had the carburetors off of it. All it's ever had is tune ups and oil changes. So take a good look at it, and I hope you like it. You still got this sweet old CB160. This is a cool survivor. Walk around it from all angles. Little tiny dual carburetors. This is what I like. It's just an amazing old survivor bike. I love these big sweeping speedometers like this. No tachometer. The stripes tell you how fast you can go in each gear. Of course, as typical of Honda this time period, the frame and the tank and the forks are painted in blue. They were like blue and red or black. And then the fenders and side covers were all done in cloud silver, no matter what color the rest of the bike was. Very sharp looking little thing. I enjoy seeing it. Well, that's it for this week's episode. I had a good time at the show. The turnout was a little disappointing. The SWAT giant swap meet next door to us wasn't doing very well either. My little 82 Passport Street Cub brought home another trophy for the customs. But overall, I mean, it was an okay weekend. That video is available on the VJMC of North America YouTube channel. I'll link to it in the description below. But anyhow, have fun, keep riding, stay crazy. Pick up, pick up,